all was peaceful in the dark wood below the tall snowy mountains. On the edge of the wood lived a very grumpy bear. He came out at night time to keep away from other animals because they made him even more grumpy. The bear collected some water from the well and took it into his house. Back in his warm home, the bear placed the bucket on the table in front of the roaring fire. Then he heard a little splashing noise and wondered where it was coming from. He moved closer to the bucket and peered in. There in the bucket of water was a little baby bird. The bear gently lifted the chick onto the table. The chick stayed very still, looking very cold and scared. The bear didn't know what to do with the little creature. He looked closer at the little chick and the chick just looked back at him. Hmm, thought the bear, where have you come from? Then he realised the chick must have fallen down the well and come back up in his bucket. I wonder where your parents are, thought the bear. He went back outside to look for them, but they were nowhere to be seen. In fact, nobody else was out on this dark and lonely night. Back in the house, the chick was quietly sat on the table, looking very sad. So the bear decided to make the chick comfortable in a cosy box with a nice cushion to perch on. He added a bowl of water and a food bowl, but the food bowl was empty. What food do baby chicks eat? thought the bear. He'd seen birds eating worms and grubs in the wood, so worms and grubs he will have to find. He took his bucket and spade into the wood and dug up some lovely worms and grubs. The chick took one look at the food and gobbled it up as quick as a flash. Oh dear, thought the bear, I'm going to have to dig a lot more holes. Each night, the bear dug more and more holes to feed the hungry chick. The chick gobbled more and more food, growing bigger and bigger by the day, much to the bear's surprise. Caring for the chick kept the bear very busy day after day, and he grew more and more tired. While he was trying to have a nap, the hungry bird hooted loudly. The bear sat up in his bed, giving up on sleep, and decided he would have to get some help to find more food. But who to ask? I know, thought the bear. I will ask Badger. He is a nighttime animal, just like me. The badger was very surprised to see the bear, as he normally stayed away from other animals. But when the bear explained the problem, he agreed to help. I will bring round a bucket of food later, said the badger. Badgers are very good at digging for food, and he soon arrived with the chick's dinner. But he found both the bear and the chick peacefully sleeping, so he left the food and quietly crept out to let them sleep. Over time, the bear and the badger became good friends. The chick has grown into a bird, said the bear, and I think the bird needs to fly free. So they took the bird to the edge of the wood, and watched as the owl silently flew up into the night sky. As the bear looked on, his constant frown had turned into a smile. He had never been so happy or seen anything so beautiful. He turned to the badger and asked, What will I do with myself now? The badger laughed and said, we will have to find you a hobby, my friend. And they both looked up to watch the owl fly away. Thanks for watching.